Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars diecast review and today we're going to take a look at Mario and Dreddy the Ford Fairlane Piston Cup Racer. So before we get right into the review let me discuss something. So Mario and Dreddy was a Piston Cup Racer that ran the circuit in in the late 60s and also won the Florida 500 in 1967 and had retired sometime between the late 60s and the early 70s and, and in 2005 he, he attended the, Los, the tiebreaker race at the Los Angeles International Speedway along with his colleague and girlfriend and Patty me and and asked I mean and stated to mark one of the officials Marco the security officials Marco Axelbender who I don't have have a lovely day a great day for a race and 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 also told Fred a good day to him, him, and mentioned his name, which made Fred his day. He is also a 1967 Ford Fairlane, similar to the one that, I mean, he was voiced and named after the real Mario Andretti, me, and he is a muscle car, which he is a 1967 Ford Fairlane stock car, or which similar to the one, which is similar to the one on that Mario Andretti drove for Hallman Moody in NASCAR to win the Daytona 500 at Daytona International Speedway in 1967. And Mario Andretti was also number 11. And now, let's get right into the review. Here we've got his happy facial expression, his grill in Torquus, and his headlights, and, and on the hood, we it says 427C.I, and his chrome gray bumper, and on the left side, we've got his Torquist paint and uh, his name Mario and another name saying and on the door he says Mar his name signature saying Mario Andretti and a white number 11 and and his light brown rims on his black wall tires although in the movie he has red rims on his black wall tires because this is an inaccurate model and we also got the old Piston Cup logo, which is similar to the one that the fabulous Doc Hudson bore in his racing days and his days as a crew chief. And on the top, we've got his light brown and red rooftop and a red number 11 on the top. And on his trunk, we've got a white number 11. And on the back side, we've got his taillights and his chrome gray bumper and his name Mario in red and on the right side similar design but completely different and that is it so now let's compare him to the other muscle cars we've got three, the three Dodge Challengers Snot Rod from 1970 and who is a first gen and the two third gen Dodge Challengers, Steiner and Rod Torg Redline. Strip the King Weathers and Louie, who, who are both a 1970 Plymouth Superbird. Firebird, one of my car's OCs, who is a 1982 Pontiac Firebird. And Brent Mustangberger, who is a 1964 and a half Ford Mustang. 
and some other Ford vehicles besides Brent. We've got Lizzie, who is a 1923 Ford Model T. Van, who is a 2003 Windstar. Duff Rex, who is a 2000 Ranger. Corey Turbowitz, who is a 1997 Puma. And finally, Woody, who I believe is a 1951 Ford County Squire wagon. And that is it. So, what do you guys think? Which muscle car is your favorite? And which Ford vehicle is your favorite also? And should I get the accurate version of Mario Andretti with the red rims? And replace this inaccurate version of Mario Andretti here? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you thumbs up and subscribe. Also, don't forget to leave any suggestions of which car of the past should I review next. next. And please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I would really appreciate it very, very much. And I hope to see you guys for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!